So let's work with exercise number 11. Now, this is a fairly simple exercise. Uh, mostly, you just need to know how to do the fillet to make this arc. So there's no other way to make this arc other than making a fillet. Okay, so the command that we use is the line. We create these lines, then we use offset to create the grid. Uh, we are going to use the circles to make the circles. The template that we are using is metric for, for this example. I'm just going to go ahead and change that to metric. then uh, we will be using the center lines to make these center lines that you see here and again the template that we use is MMFG the previous ones we have used IMFG okay so to get to the template you have to go to AutoCAD you have to go new and the template that you would be picking is M M F G. Now the reason is because this is a metric drawing. The ones that we worked before were I M F G because those were imperial inches. So let's start working with this drawing. So I start first with placing the grid. Now I'm going to go on to my uh, center line layer first. Now again by default you don't get the center line layer you will have to go there and create a new center line layer by clicking on there and by changing the line type by default it's continuous you click here and you select the center line if it doesn't show onto this uh, pop out you gotta go load and then you have to find that center line and then hit OK okay so I'm going to use the center line to draw the center line first just an approximate line going all the way down and another line going this way okay so I will put it right in the middle by moving this from the center to the center okay so let's start offsetting our lines so from the center I offset it to the left 40 offset it to the right 40 offset it to the top 40, offset it to the bottom 40. Okay, so I use offset, enter, 40, enter, and then click to the left, click to the right, click to the top, and click to the bottom. So now I have my gr grid place, which is one of the most important things to finish this exercise. Now the next thing we'll be doing is drawing these circles. So I start with the center one. We don't have a dimension right now, so I am going to put in a dimension for the diameter and the dimension that I have is 60.80. So I start with the circle, C, enter, or you could go here. Click the center point and draw the circle of 60.80 with the diameter so D enter 60.80 okay now obviously this has to be on its own layer so I put it on the model top okay I'll make the model top layer current because everything I draw now I want it to be on model top so let's draw the other circles so I'll draw these two circles and then copy it over here. So starting with uh, the diameter of 40 is the outside one. So I do circle, enter, D, enter. Okay, circle, enter. I have to pick the center point. Now D, enter, and the diameter is 40. Now the inside one is a diameter of 20.8. I do circle, enter, pick the center, and D, enter 
okay so I have made those two circles all I have to do now is just copy both of the circles so I can type CO enter and select both of the circles or I could even go here select both the circles enter or spacebar from the center to the center to the center to the center now when I'm done with the command to get out of the command what do I do I always hit escape so what escape does it gets me out of that command so you will be using the escape key as much as you use the enter or spacebar key so now we're pretty much done only thing left is is trimming uh, some of these circles and then putting in the the fillet so the fillet radius that we have over here is 65 so I'll do F for fillet F enter or the fillet would be uh, somewhere over here let's see where is fillet you gotta find fillet uh, oh right there okay or you could click that or type F enter now it asking me select the first object but before I do that I have to give it a radius so I'm gonna type R enter 65 is the radius enter now select the first object select the second object now I want to do it again what do I do hit space bar so it takes me back to the same command click that one and this one enter space bar again that's one that one space bar this one that one so I'm pretty much done only thing I need to do is trim these two circles so I use the trim command or I go here TR enter select the whole screen enter okay I did something wrong so let's do it again TR enter select the whole screen enter click on the circle to trim click on the circle that we need it to trim so now it's done really easy example now once you learn all this tool so this particular example should not take you more than two minutes to finish okay so I'm going to go ahead and throw in some dimensions I go to the dimensions layer and I start with my linear dimension going there going from the center to the center and there from the center to the center line right there and all I need to do is put in some diameters now oh, this is this is a radius so I'll put in a radius over here I put in a radius out here I think those are the two different radiuses we have okay. move it back here and then the next thing I will do is put in the diameters so I have to click the whole complete circle to put in the diameters okay so I hope you followed this exercise fairly simple only trick that was used here is to draw these and these were drawn using the fillet command with the radius of 65 okay so please share my video please like the videos if uh, so I know that you are uh, understanding how I'm teaching you here so I hope to see you in my next tutorial thank you